Hey, what's up everybody? Infinite PC Gaming here, back once again with another video tackling the temperatures of the GTX 1080 Ti Founders Edition. If you remember in my last video, I just uh, switched out the thermal paste and got a decent little drop, about 3 degrees and 10% 10 10 uh, less fan speed, which is a good plus. Um, quiet down the card for us and for those people that don't like a noisy card. But uh, today we're going to take a look at how to drop these temperatures just a wee bit further with a few voltage drop tweaks. It's something that's very easy, something that everybody, I feel everybody should hopefully be able to do. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the stock voltage, that, which was 1.050 millivolts and landed us at 1823 megahertz on the core. And I'm going to drop that down to 0.85 uh, millivolts while also targeting 1823 uh, megahertz and see what happens. I'll tell you right off the bat, the game isn't going to work, but I just want to show you exactly what happens if you don't have enough voltage for the specific um, core target that you're trying to go for. Alright, so first things first, in order to get this uh, started, you're going to need to download MSI Afterburner, everybody's uh, go-to app for stuff like this. And you just go either go to Guru 3D, download from them, or you can go straight to the website and download it there. And obviously once you're done with that, you install it. Duh. <laughs> and then what you'll do is you'll go into your C drive where it's installed, do the program files x86. We will go right into the MSI Afterburner folder right there. Profiles. All right, so you're in the profiles. And when you get here, you can't open up this full uh, file right away to edit it. You're just going to have to right click it. Properties, security, click edit. And then you're going to click users and full control that way we're able and click apply and now we're able to edit this file and save any settings uh any changes that we made to the file so after that just uh open her up use notepad to open it up and you'll see this in the note uh into the file in the file excuse me and what you're going to want to type in i'm just going to copy i'm just going to paste it in uh you're going to want to type in uh left bracket settings right bracket just to close it up um, capital VDDC underscore generic underscore detection equals one. This will be, this will allow us to start changing the, um, the voltage within MSI Afterburner. So, and it'll actually show up on the, uh, on the graph too. I'll be able to keep track of it. So click save. Yes. All right. Click out of that. Open up F MSI Afterburner. <laughs> stuttering like a motherfucker. okay so okay so when you're going to come into settings you're going to want to check these two unlock voltage control and unlock voltage monitoring and click okay if you want to i just tend to do that i don't know why um then you're going to go into monitoring and then you're going to GPU voltage. I don't know why I just did not see that. <laughs> uh, it's going to be unchecked, so you're just going to check it and then click down here, showing the on screen display. And you click OK. So, obviously, as you can see right here, we're sitting here at 0.8 millivolts. All right, so let's get into how we drop the voltage in the MSI Afterburner. On my previous video, I was able to hit 1823. Again, I wasn't, I didn't um, keep track of the voltage, but it was sitting at uh, when I redid the test, it was at 1.050 millivolts, and that was sitting at 18.23 core clock, and then high of 84 temps. So we get to the point of the video. How do we drop the voltage, and how do we drop these temps? Get to the point already. All right. When you're in this main screen at MSI Afterburner, what you're going to do is you're going to hold the left control button, and then you're going to press F, and it'll bring up this graph right here. This is your voltage and frequency uh, controls right here. I'm gonna shrink this down just a wee bit. Okay. Move that over here. OCD's kicking in. So right now we're way over here at 1873. Uh, 1878, 1823, excuse me. Right, it was 1823. This is what I hate about this damn thing. Uh, 1823, okay, so. Big, big. All right, so 1823, I was at 1.050 millivolts and I should be sitting at 1873 but anyway so we're going to go for 1823 again I'm actually 1823 
and we're going to bring it down to 850. Now I know this isn't going to work, but I just want to show you anyway. So what you do is you're going to click right here, hold down the left, left control button on your uh, left control button key on your keyboard. And we're going to click and drag, and as you can see, the entire graph starts moving up. And we're just going to move this to 1823 is what I said, right? Let's just double check it again, triple check, why not? Okay, 1823. So now, 1823, but now I want the car to run strictly at 0.85 millivolts. And as you can see, it's not going to do that since it's going to be bouncing up all over the place. So... Here is by far the most tedious part of doing this. And if there's anybody out there that's watching this video that knows a way to tackle this next section without doing it the way I'm going to show you, please, by all means, drop a comment. Okay, so now what we have to do is we're going to have to go and drop all of these points below the 1823 point right here. So you're going to have to click and drag down just as long as they're below. Uh, as long as they're below the point that you're trying to make, uh, you know, set it to. Come on, last one, son of a bitch. There we go. Okay. Now that once that's done, now we want it to uh, we want this to be a constant core clock speed. <laughs> Okay, of uh, the 1823, and we want that to go sh straight across. So once you're done doing this, this is how you do it. You just click apply, boom, and there you go. So uh, we have a nice straight line. It's going to sit at 1823. It's not going to go any. It's not going to go above it at all. And we're going to be doing that at 0.85 millivolts. So, okay, you already clicked apply. Uh, if you want to save it, go ahead and save it. But I mean. More than likely, the game's not going to boot up. We're going to be using Ghost Recon Wildlands as a uh, as the test. Okay, and so as you can see, we're in game. Well, technically, we're in the menu, but uh, already you can see. This is, uh, is this thing recording? Okay, it's still recording. Good. Okay, so let's get into the game. 0.85 millivolts is what we set it at. 1823 megahertz max and the reason like i said the reason why i'm doing it doing it at 1823 is because that's the max i was able to get at um the, after the, doing the thermal pace so what i'm doing is just basically you know comparing the temps from the thermal to voltage dropping and as you can see right now 65 degrees granted we haven't played much of the game but still uh so let's just climb up here climb up here Let's hop into a vehicle. Alright. It's the SUV. No need to wait for these right. these guys. <laughs> They'll just all magically appear inside the truck anyway. So, just driving around. As you can see, obviously the game is run... Oh, I guess maybe I shouldn't have left those people behind. Karma. So that pretty much is a great example of what would happen if you don't have enough voltage for the core clock that you're trying to obtain. So what we're just going to do is go back and we're going to bump up the voltage just a wee bit and repeat the process. Okay, so here we are again. Maybe this time I'll wait for everybody to into the car so as you can see again 65 i'll just follow pretty much the same path i was doing before do, 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 do. hit up in this uh minibus suckers <laughs> all right <laughs> that's such a dick Okay, yeah, all right, yeah, you just magically appeared. All right, so now, as you can see, the game is running perfectly fine. All right, I'm just going to drive around. As you can see, the temp... Uh, holy, I hope you can see. Shit, I didn't even think about the color. Oh, shit. Okay, yellow it is. All righty. So, as you can see again... Voltage is forced at 8.862. Uh, 
sitting at 70 degrees, which is um, around what, 11 um, degree drop, I believe it was. Of course, I mean, as you can see, yeah, I'm, I'm not sitting at 1823 uh, megahertz, but 13 megahertz blue bump isn't going to drastically change the, uh, the temperature much. Let's head back into the desktop and take a quick look at the MSI Afterburner stats. Okay, so now that we're back at the desktop, um, so as you can see, a constant voltage at 0.862 uh, millivolts, and a constant, even though, I don't know why I didn't hit 18.23, but 18.10, sometimes you, I mean, sometimes you do have to, if, like, I, sh I really should just put it to 18.30 on the graph, and then it probably would hate 18.23, but like I said, 13 megahertz, um, 13 megahertz difference isn't going to drastically change the temperatures. So, and then we head up to uh, 73, a max of 73. Um, and if we compare that to my last results, my after changing the thermal pace, it was at 84. 84 to 73 is quite the jump. As well as to uh, have the fan speed was much lower. There's a fan speed over here. What was this fan speed over here? Jesus Christ. Fan speed, 50. Fan speed, 42. So now if I would actually have raised the fan speed to 50 and just set that at a constant 50, the temperature would have been a little bit lower. Which again, pretty good. Again, we kind of don't want to have loud fans, do we? So, 42, that's a 8% drop right there in fan speed. Uh, 9 degree drop in temperature. Wait, am I doing that right? No, that's a 11, sorry, excuse me, 11 degree drop in temperature. I'm about to uh, break out the calculator next time to get my figures correct. That really pretty much proves my point. Okay, so I'm going to highly recommend anybody that's doing this, just take your time and to dial in the settings because even with this quick setting I was just doing right here at 0.862 and uh, max of 73, it gets a little odd because last night when I was playing with this, uh, I sent this screenshot to my friend. I was sitting at 0.9 volts and my temp was at 66 with a higher clock. Mind you, I also had VSync on as well. And what VSync will do is it's not going to utilize the entire GPU. You're not going to be sitting at 99%. So therefore, again, your temperature is going to lower down a little bit more as well. All right, so I'm going to end the video now. I'm going to leave you guys with a cl quick clip of me running at 1911 megahertz at 0.925 volts. And we barely just uh, get above 70 degrees. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff. See you in the next one. Peace.